Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Advanced Warfare In Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the Amelie Light Machine Gun. The gameplay that you're going to get to see from me is extremely good, especially for this channel, way above normal, basically because I have been using crazy guns for like the last three or four in depths. I've been using the EM1, the XMGs, all that sort of stuff, and now I finally have a normal weapon to use, and I'm going to go on a tear. This one's also going to talk about the variants a little bit more than usual, because the variants on this weapon are extremely important, but let's do first things first, and talk about the damage and uh, it's relatively low damage for a light machine gun it's only going to deal 35 damage per shot up close and decrease to 33 damage and at, at a distance i guess in a way it deals very consistent damage and it's going to be between three and four shots to kill however if your enemies at a distance have been hurt by a flashbang a stun a smoke fallen too far just anything they've taken a little nick somehow an emp whatever and yes you can take fall damage in this game if you get emp'd and your exo is turned off it'll kill in three shots it's going to be three or four the range on the three shot is not super spectacular, but we're going to get to that in a little bit. Headshots will deal 1.1x damage, which will mean, especially at long ranges, you can get a lot of three shot kills if you squeeze in just one headshot. The range, unfortunately, like I said, not spectacular. The three shot range is 13 meters. That is the same as the Pi Take. The Pi Take, I have no idea how to say that light machine gun. It's basically shotgun range. That's the max, that's the three shot kill range on most of the submachine guns. It's, it's more or less very close quarters combat. Far away, you're not going to be getting any three shot kills unless of course again you squeeze in a headshot rate of fire is pretty satanic on this weapon at 666 rounds per minute well, i'm not going to debate biblical literacy for you and the mark of the beast but we can talk about the rapid fire which when you put that attachment on it'll go up to 833 rounds per minute some of the variants on this weapon basically have rapid fire built in like the chicanery which i'm using in quite a few of the clips here actually fires at 805 rounds per minute so it's basically like having free rapid rapid fire and I can stack on top and shoot even faster if I want to but that's unnecessary fire rates pretty good the effective time to kill on this weapon is pretty fast it shoots at a pretty normal speed you know it shoots at about the same speed as most of the assault rifles it kills in four shots like most of the assault rifles and can do three up close which is very good and as long as you're able to keep your shots on target which I feel that most of you will be able to do because the recoil is manageable the effective time to kill is going to be pretty fast Recoil on the Amelie is low to moderate. It does kick a little bit, it does drag around. I almost called it a low, but you do have to put some effort into controlling it. The grip helps quite a bit. I found that without the foregrip, I do not like the recoil, but with the foregrip, it's very, very controllable. It feels it feels kind of like the bow to me. It kicks a bit, but you can work with it. And the recoil is mostly vertical. I find it easy to control. It does go side to side a little bit, but most of the drift is upward and to the right. So if you pull down to the left, which is something that we do for most guns, it's very easy to control and the iron sights on this weapon are very good they're very clean there's not a lot of nonsense going on beside them the bullets go where the foresight is and there's no weird flash or smoke or anything like that so the iron sights are very usable in this in these videos i'm using some optics and stuff because well thermal is beastly but the iron sights are quite good on this weapon hip fire unfortunately not very good hip fire is very poor on the amelia it's a light machine gun it's the same as the other ones it's got miserable hip fire unless of course you're using using the whale horn. Now I'm going to cut to some whale horn gameplay because that's really fun. The hip fire on the whale horn is greatly increased and I'm running the uh, laser sight on it so I'm making it into a hip fire machine. The Amelie whale horn is a special variant and that one is basically like just it's just like a hip fire god machine. It's really fun to use. I'm going to talk about it a little bit more near the end of the episode. I feel that the Amelie is also a very good anti kill streak weapon. This is something that not a lot of weapons in the game get classified as, but if you need to shoot down turrets, if you need to shoot down aircraft if you need to shoot down anything in the air that's annoying the Amelie is going to do a very good job of that it's also great at wall banging because like the only other light machine gun in the game I guess you can count the XMGs it has higher than average wall penetrating abilities all the weapons in the game have a certain like penetration rating this one is the highest right up there with sniper rifles so you can punch through walls very very easily and basically everybody has concealment instead of cover because those are very different things run speed unfortunately very slow at 80% it is a heavy weapon it is is giant it is heavy you have to lug it around in all of its hundreds and hundreds of rounds of ammunition so you cannot run very fast lightweight is going to be essential unless of course you just want to camp there are two excellent variants of this weapon i'm actually going to have a class build out for each one and the normal melee the first one which we talked about is the whale horn it has a decrease in damage which i don't normally go for but the big thing about it is that it has a massive increase in hip fire uh, spread like the hip not not increase 
increase in hip fire accuracy it heightens the hip fire spread very very much so and if you stack a laser sight on it you can basically bullet hose people really really hard from close range think about it kind of like the uh, m60 from cod 4 when you ran steady aim or something like that you can do really crazy things you can do that with the whale horn very very crazy and the chicanery is also very good it comes with two points of fire rate it's almost as fast as having free rapid fire and it gets one free attachment which is going to be the advanced rifling that's integrated into the weapon so you get increased range and rate of fire with no penalty to accuracy I slap a foregrip on it and extended mags and I'm good to go and I have to put extended mags on there because unfortunately all those bonuses to the weapons attributes they decided to cut the magazine in half so you only have 50 rounds that one that kind of blows but I think it's totally worth it as for my opinion on the Amelie I think that it is the overall best heavy weapon in the game I feel that it is very easy to use very rough and tumble very workable in a lot of situations most of the other heavy weapons weapons are kind of specialty weapons. They they need to be used at a certain range or in a certain map or something like that. The melee can be built and used almost anywhere, which makes it a very good go-to weapon. I think it could even be viable and competitive if you just have to anchor a location, maybe something like Hardpoint. And my tip on how to use it is don't rush too hard, unless of course you have the whale horn. We'll talk about that in a little bit. If you rush too hard, if you try and run and gun people, if you try to like out ADS them and do this quick draw kind of nonsense, it's very unlikely to work for you because everybody else is going to have an assault rifle or an SMG, it's going to be a faster uh, moving and handling weapon. However, if you sit back, if you rush to choke points and plant yourself there, especially if you go prone because you get an accuracy bonus when you do that, you can really, really wreck people. I mean, they just cannot handle that very accurate sustained rate of fire, and you're going to just be able to hose them down with your huge magazine. It holds choke points truly in a godlike fashion. Now let's move on to my recommended classes. These are all going to be quite different on any Amelie. I think I'm using the Amelie Spacer right Right now it's, it's a professional weapon it's not it just has a little bit of extra range nothing funny about it just on the base of melee i feel that using thermal optics quick draw grip and foregrip works great now it is a long range weapon so you get four shots to kill at any range which is good maybe a little less if you squeeze in a headshot thermal optics kind of decrease recoil at least they decrease the way recoil feels so it's easy to handle you can spot people through bushes and at long ranges quick draw grip is going to be essential because you need fast target acquisition when you see somebody you kind of want to be able to snap to them it makes a big difference on the melee and it also gives you some you know ability to fight back up close the quick draw isn't used quite as much in advanced warfare so if you're running quick draw grip on your light machine gun and an assault rifle user gets close to you you're going to have similar you know ads times which is good and a four grip is always good to reduce accuracy even further not reduce accuracy reduce recoil even further i'm getting my words a little bit backwards here today this is basically your long-range punishment weapon and you've seen a lot in this video and it works very very well the next one is the chicanery or the chicanery i can't say it very well keep in mind that this one already has advanced rifling integrated into the gun you cannot detach it so you're going to need to go primary gunfighter to get all of these things you definitely need extended mags because the downside to the chicanery is that it cuts your magazine to size in half you only have 50 rounds you'll burn through it pretty quickly but with extended mags it goes up to 75 and handles more like a normal malite machine gun also you will need a foregrip now it does not have any sort of penalties to accuracy but it does shoot faster and just by the nature of that you're going to get more recoil on your weapon so with the foregrip that's going to cut down on that and it's going to make it it's really going to increase your time to kill, decrease your time to kill make it kill faster because you're going to get more shots on target it's really going to change the handling of the weapon and i would highly recommend it you can also throw rapid fire on this if you just want a bullet hose however i found that to be not the best tactic and the most fun class I have used in Advanced Warfare in a very, very long time. One of the ones I'm highly going to recommend is the Amelie Whale Horn. If you run gung-ho on it, and the gung-ho is essential because you want to be able to shoot while sprinting and moving, and not have to, you know, transition to that aiming down sights. This weapon has really, really tight hip fire accuracy. The hip fire accuracy is beastly. You can also put laser sight on it to increase that hip fire accuracy. Rapid fire, because it's a bullet hose, you want it to shoot and kill very, very quickly. And I know that rapid fire decreases your hip fire accuracy, which is probably not what you want to do, but it almost cancels out with laser sight. And just trust me on this, and extended mag so that you have a massive redonkulous over the top magazine. You can run around with this and use it truly as a bullet hose. I feel like if, if I were a firefighter and I had to shoot buildings to put them out of fire, I don't know what I mean, what kind of analogy we've even got here, I would use this as my bullet hose. I would put out buildings with my bullets of 
pull out, put out fires with my bullet hose. I don't know, I'm getting kind of crazy because I just, I literally just got done recording the gameplay with the whale horn. It was so fun. I'm a little bit amped up and not thinking straight. Whale horn is great. Just, just, just hit fire with it. Just, it, it's ridiculous and I hope you give it a go. Well guys, that's all for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to check out the previous episode, which is on the quick scope trick, the one that gives you perfect accuracy every time. You could also subscribe if you wanted to. Not going to make you, but you totally should. Check out my sponsors link down there in the description. And the next episode of In-Depth is coming soon, but I have to keep it secret so that people don't copy me. Floating away, drift around. Oh my gosh, I'm lagging. Dude, I am in first and I am a god in fucking S12. I love it, I love the S12. Enemy is securing the flag. Our UAV is online. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, what I'm Just added a few seconds.